How you doing everybody? I'm Scott Jelinek, the founder of the Master Investor Academy, and today I wanted to do a short video for you on the ugly side of wholesaling, something that most people don't tell you, and a, a real easy way around it. And for those of you who don't know what wholesaling is, wholesaling is basically where you buy a house seriously discounted and then you sell it discounted to somebody else. We're, away, we're nowhere near retail here. We buy it deeply discounted and then we still sell it discounted and we make a spread. Sometimes it's only five or ten grand, sometimes it could be thirty, forty grand, but we just make a spread. We don't actually take possession of the property, we don't do any work to the property, we contract the property, then we sell that contract to another investor, generally by assignment, and we make the fee, the assignment fee. Well, a lot of times when this happens, you're selling, you buy a property for 50 grand, I may be selling it for 70 grand to another investor. Well, when you go to closing, this guy who you spent time with, you built the rapport with, you got the agreed upon contract price, goes in to sign the contract, and a couple things he's gonna notice. One is, he's gonna notice he did a contract with Scott Jelinek, but Scott Jelinek's not the name of the buyer. Number two is, he's gonna look at that contract and say, what's this $20,000 check to Scott Jelinek? Well, he very well may freak out because you have to understand, he's getting $50,000 on this house. He may have owned this house 20 years. He may have been paying taxes, doing repairs, mowing lawns, put an addition on it, sided the house, re-roofed it, done all this work over the last 15, 20 years, and now he's getting a total of 50 grand. He may have paid 50 grand for it 20 years ago, and he's getting a total of 50 grand. You only met him last week, and you're getting 20 grand. So people have a hard time with that sometimes, and there's a major shock value when they see that. There's not a lot of ways around it. One of the ways around it that we've come up with, um, which everybody knows, this is the simple way, is to do a double closing, which means I close on the property first and then I sell the property to my buyer. Um, that works and the, the problem with it is twofold. One of the problems with it is now I have double closing cost. I'm paying, I'm paying fees on my buy over here. I might have to, you don't have to buy title insurance, but you may have to pay uh, attorney's fees, you have to pay the recording fees, you have to pay the transfer taxes. And then over here, you're paying all the fees for selling the property. So you might be out $1,000, you might be out $1,500 depending on the property, the purchase price of the house. So that's one problem with it. The second problem is it now is, it's late, you're, on, you're being labeled more as a dealer now because you're, on, you're on, on every transaction. That form is getting sent off to the IRS every time you do, every time you do a transaction, that form is getting sent off to the IRS. The other way around it that I just recently learned, I've been doing this 20 years and I just learned this technique about five years ago. So 15 years I've been wholesaling and knew nothing about this, which is why I, I'm so interested in sharing it. You can do what's called a seller side only HUD. And now I can't speak for the entire country. I know in my state it's legal. Some attorneys don't know that it's legal. And what that is, is basically the seller only sees the numbers that pertain to them. The buyer sees the numbers that pertain to them. So they, there's two different HUDs. They have the same information, but the seller only sees what pertains to them. The assignment fee doesn't pertain to the seller, so it's over here on the buyer's HUD. Nothing else other than the purchase price and whatever fees came out of his money and how much money he gets is on the seller side only HUD. Now the buyer side will say he's purchasing it for $50,000 plus a $20,000 assignment fee plus whatever closing costs he has. The total money he has to bring is $73,000, but the buyer sees none of that. It saves so much money. Over the years, I have probably spent hundreds of thousands of dollars in double closing costs just to save people's feelings. And I've done it because before I started doing it, I have lost deals over people coming in and freaking out when they see how much money I was going to make, and they'll freak out and walk away. And I know you say, well, you can record the contract, or you can sue them, or you can do this and that. I'm not in the sue business. I want you to sell. I want you to want to do the deal you're doing. Um, if somebody changes their mind, I generally let them out of the contract. And this is what was happening. When people see you're making a big spread on a property, they freak out and it scares them. So I end up double closing in order to save feelings. Well, in that double closing, I was doing 55, 60 grand, 60 deals a year. Think about the numbers. That's $50,000 a year you're spending just in feelings. Saving people's feelings, you're spending all that money. So now that I've learned about this sell aside only HUD, no issues whatsoever. The only time it's going to be an issue is if your buyer is using a mortgage or using a loan of some sort, then there may be an issue that it all has to be disclosed to the lender, but you know, on one HUD. But if there's if it's a cash deal, which 90% of all our wholesale deals are cash deals for the buyer and the seller is on their own, there's no issue whatsoever with having a sell aside only HUD. That's all a little tip I wanted to share with you. Remember, sell aside only HUD, ask your closing attorney about it. It's invaluable. This is a little tip I wish I had known 15 years ago, but at least you know it now. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.